Rose, I won't need any food tonight either. Seriously? Again? Really? You've got another overtime shift tonight? Yeah, unfortunately. I won't be able to make it home until like 11. Alright, I get it. Just promise me you won't overdo it. Lately, I've been worried sick about your health. Oh, and I'll leave some food in the fridge in case you get hungry. Thanks, babe. I'm so beat today. Meetings after meetings, and not a single moment to actually get my work done. It's like my bosses have everything already planned out, and they just want me to follow their orders. Ugh, pointless meetings are the worst, right? But I guess they serve some purpose in keeping everyone on the same page. Yeah, but you know what? These meetings could easily be an email or a Zoom call. I can multitask and get stuff done, but nope, they gotta be in person. So there I am, stuck in the meeting room, unable to make any progress. My company needs to get with the times, seriously. Well, some people are just not as efficient as you, honey. Nothing you can do about it, I guess. But hey, think about it. Your hard work doesn't go unnoticed. I'm sure your bosses are taking note of your dedication. And that could mean a sweet bonus down the road, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. It's just, sometimes I wonder if I'm cut out for this office life. Don't be so hard on yourself, Set. Sure, it might seem mundane, but at least it pays the bills. I genuinely think you're a hard worker. Haven't your bosses and coworkers ever praised you for your efforts? Nah, they just enjoy teasing me and having a laugh. I wish I had at least one other goofball like me in this company. Don't let their teasing get to you, babe. You're better than you think. You know, Rose, I think you'd be more suited for the work life than I am. Oh, really? I'm not sure if I'd excel at it, but I don't hate working. It's kind of satisfying to see the results of your efforts, you know? I struggle to see it that way. Lately, I've been daydreaming about being a house husband, doing all the chores and taking care of everything at home. Set the house husband? <laughs> That's a new one. Can you handle housework and taking care of our kids? Remember how you begged me to rush home after just one day of looking after Joy? I can do it. It'd be no problem at all. If I were a house husband, I'd have time, so taking care of Joy and doing the housework would be a cinch. Isn't it just that you're underestimating what my life as a housewife entails? Nope. It cannot even begin to compare with the pain of working. All I'd have to do is take care of Joy while cleaning and making food. Aside from that, I could just relax. It's not that simple. You spent your whole day at home, didn't you? That is definitely way easier than my job. If you think so, why don't you try being a house husband on your next day off? I'm not going to do that. Doing that stuff on my day off and doing it full time are totally different. I hardly get any time to relax, so I don't want to spend my precious time off doing housework. You don't get a single day off if you're a house husband, you know? But every day is a lot more like a day off. You shouldn't say something like that in front of a housewife. You'll make me mad, and then I'll just have to beat you up. What? Do you think I'm wrong? I was just giving you some forewarning before you do something you'll regret. Ah, I've got to feed Joy. Talk to you later, dear. Huh? Can't you listen to me a little longer than that? I'll talk to you after I've put Joy to bed. Besides, you should get back to work. All right. Understood. Thanks for always working so hard for us. Go, Daddy, go! Work hard for your family. Hey, Rose. I've got something to tell you. I'm just going for lunch now, though. Really? You're eating pretty late. You're such a hard worker. It's really tough. I don't feel like I'm cut out for work. I don't think I can take this for the rest of my life. Did something happen? You've been saying how much you hate it recently. So did something happen? It's not that anything really happened, but I think I want to quit my job. What? Are you serious? I'm not joking around here. You quit your job after giving birth to Joy. I've sort of felt jealous ever since you quit, Rose. I never really thought about how much I hate coming into work until you left your job. You're jealous of me? Don't you just get to play with Joy every day? It seems so nice just getting to sit around all day, getting to eat when you feel like it, not having to work. What are you talking about? You shouldn't talk like that. But am I wrong? Joy is already two, so it's not like she cries all night long anymore. She takes naps all day and goes to bed early. It's so unfair, Rose. A two-year-old is still plenty of trouble, you know. I hope she gets better soon. Is that right? 
Doesn't she just play with dolls all by herself? She's a girl, so I think she's probably a lot easier to take care of. She calls out for me right away, even if she's playing by herself. I don't really have any time to myself. Joy's always such a good girl when she's around me. She never cries or screams whenever we go out anywhere. She's so well behaved. She always listens to what I tell her. If my company was more forgiving of paternity leave, I definitely would have taken it. So if that's how you feel, if you find it so hard to work at your company, Set, why don't you become a house husband? Are you serious? Is it really okay? Yeah. I'd be happy to get back to working as I was before. To be honest, I find being a housewife kind of depressing. If you can take care of Joy and do the housework, Set, I have no problem going back to work. Yes, I'll do it. God, do I want to do it. But before you quit, I want you to take a few days with me so I can show you what you need to do. I have to make sure you really can handle the housework and take care of Joy without any problems. You want me to train? I mentioned trying to be a house husband on your day off before, right? In a couple of weeks, there's that long weekend, right? If you can show me that you can be a house husband, I'll go back to work. It's perfect. My friend is getting married, so I had planned on taking Joy with me. But now you can just take care of her. I thought I'd take her to my parents, but you can take care of her. Yes, I'll do it. I'll show you that I can be the perfect house husband. But you'll have to find a job, huh? It's going to take at least a month until I can quit my job. How depressing. I mean, wouldn't that obviously be the case? After you talk to your boss, you'll still need to put in your letter of resignation. It might not be possible for you to just up and quit all of a sudden, you know? I guess you're right, but I'm definitely going to quit. So you've got to start looking for a job, okay, Rose? I think I can probably return to where I was working before. Really? That'd be great. Nice and fast. Well, after I quit, I took on some work every once in a while. That could be done from home. I thought after Joy was in kindergarten or something, I could go back to my old job. My boss even suggested coming back if I was ever interested. Wow! Isn't that some amazing timing? I told him I didn't have any intentions on going back to work until Joy was in kindergarten though, but I'm sure if I asked, he'd let me come back sooner. Then let's start with seeing how I do on that long weekend. I'll show you just how good I am at this. Of course. I'm sure you'll do wonderfully. I'm not going to help you out at all, okay? I know, come on. This will be a piece of cake. Leave it to me. What are you trying to do here, Margaret? I cannot believe what you've done. Montana, what's the matter? Did I do something wrong? I'm not sure what you're talking about. You know exactly what you did. Don't play dumb. Where are you? Why aren't you home? Montana, I'm at work. As I told you the other day, I've returned to work. What are you thinking of leaving your daughter at home and going back out to work? I don't have a problem with you working per se, but how could you do this to your daughter? How could you leave your daughter at home by herself? What was that? Um, I thought Set was there. Isn't Set at work? No, Set is being a house husband. We discussed it and he told me he'd rather take care of Joy than go to work. Didn't that idea get thrown out? He told me that you couldn't afford to live off of your income alone. Could it be that I'm mistaken about something? I don't really understand. This is the first I'm hearing of anything of that sort. When I left for work today, Set was taking care of Joy. Montana, when you said that Joy was left at home, what exactly did you mean? Is Joy really at home alone? I got some cookies from a neighbor, so I thought I'd bring some to share with everybody. But Joy was the only one here. I could hear her crying from outside. I looked around and saw her from the window. Joy was sitting in the living room all alone. You can't be serious. I tried calling you, but you weren't replying. I didn't have a key, so I had to break the window to get in. Joy was frantically looking around, calling for her mommy and daddy, but no one was coming. How could Set possibly be? I don't know what is going on here. I'm sorry, but I can't talk. I'm so happy that you came by the house. If you hadn't come, Joy would have been crying all this time. Just thinking about it breaks my heart. I'm so thankful that you found her. It's fine. It seems I was the one who was mistaken. But why would Set leave Joy here all alone? 
Is it possible that he went back to work again? I don't think so. But honestly, I have no idea. Things just keep getting more and more confusing, huh? I contacted Set before I broke the window, but the message is still unread. Is that right? What could be going on? All right, well, I'll head home right away. Is that okay? Aren't you at work? I don't know what compelled Set to leave Joy all by herself, and I want to be with her now. All right, I understand. I'll be waiting with her in your house. Be careful on your way home! Mom, sorry for getting back to you late. Did you really have to break the window? You couldn't wait until I got back? It was an emergency. So yes, I had no choice. Alright, I guess that's how things go. I'm sorry, but could you take care of Joy for just a little longer? I'll head back home in just a little bit. Oh, and could you keep this a secret from Rose? What are you talking about? Do you understand what you've done? What do you mean? What have I done? You left Joy at home alone? What do you think you were doing? Leaving a two-year-old at home alone? She was sobbing there all by herself. No, well, I mean, you're right, but there were some extenuating circumstances. Extenuating circumstances? What's that supposed to mean? I was going to leave her with somebody just for a bit, but I couldn't find anybody. Rose was busy with work, so I had intended on taking the day off to take care of Joy. But something came up. My company suddenly told me to come in right away. You're working again? I thought you quit. How could you selfishly decide to start working again and not tell anyone? You left your daughter all on her own. I mean, she's already two years old. I thought she'd be all right by herself if it was just for a few hours. Am I wrong? Are you crazy? When you were two, I couldn't take my eyes off you for a second. At that age, you can't even begin to guess what a child will do. What if she had fallen and gotten injured? If she was curious and resourceful enough, she could have even left the house. It's fine. Joy's a good girl. She wouldn't do something like that. First of all, Rose will never forgive you for this. She was right to say that you weren't cut out for being a house husband. If you wanted to work again, why wouldn't you just say that so Rose could go back to watching your daughter? I wasn't wrong, was I? You're not suited for this at all, are you? Look. What's the matter? Spit it out already. I wasn't telling the truth when I said that I wanted to be a house husband. Why didn't you talk to your wife? If you were going to leave Joy at home, the first person you should have talked to was your wife. Because I told her that I wanted to. I thought about telling her, but I thought she'd be upset with me. Are you stupid? She's going to be a lot angrier when she learns how bad you've bungled everything up. Are you a child? You're Joy's father. You know? I get that. I just thought it was a little too fast to change my mind. Like if I told her I wanted to go back to work so soon, she'd be so annoyed. I told her I had already quit and I had been asking her for this for so long. If I had asked her to hear me out today, if I had told her I wanted to go back to work, she'd have torn my head off. So I just left Joy at home for the day. You're talking nonsense. Well, I understand how this happened. Well, please don't mention it to Rose. I'll tell her myself. It'll be better that way. I'll just let her think that today was some bad luck. Won't you just pretend like you know nothing? Absolutely not. Rose already knows what you've done. You told her? Look, I'm going to hand the phone over to Rose now. Wait just a second. What is going on? Why are you with Rose? I saw the whole conversation. I really can't believe you. Is this really Rose? Why aren't you at work? You left our daughter home alone, didn't you? Your mother called me, so obviously I headed straight home. I'm sorry. This isn't something you can be forgiven for with a simple apology. I screwed up, Rose. I made a mistake today. It was just a one-time thing. I promise you, I've been watching our daughter carefully aside from today. Joy was just crying, right? She was safe, wasn't she? She was just crying? Is there something wrong with your head? 
What sort of parent would leave their two-year-old child home alone? But Joy doesn't even need anyone to look after her. She's so well-behaved. That's because I've always been with her. Don't you understand what being a stay-at-home dad means? You have to spend your time doing housework while tending to whatever your child needs. Well, I mean, that's like a bit far, don't you think? No, not at all. I'm sorry. She was always calling for me and asking me to play with her. I couldn't get any of the housework done at all. But I also had nobody to talk to, and I felt so alone. So I also just wanted to get away from it all for a second. What a terrible answer. But I never thought being a house husband would be this hard. Because of Joy, I couldn't get any of the housework done, and I had no time for myself. Even when I put her down for a nap, she'd pester me to read her a book, and she hardly slept at all. When I had to go out to do the shopping, she wouldn't cooperate and just put on her clothes. It took forever just to get her dressed. Being with her all day, every day, was just getting on my nerves. I started to think, I'd rather be at work if it's going to be like this. That's what I told you. Why didn't you just listen to me? Joy, safety, and how angry you made me are beyond comparison. I'm genuinely sorry. I've realized that I'm wrong, okay? I'm sorry to Joy as well. If you felt that way, you should have let somebody know before you left our daughter alone. I'm just glad that your mother happened to stop by. If I hadn't found out, the same thing might have happened. I'll never do it again, I promise. Do you think you'd ever get the opportunity to let it happen again? We're getting a divorce. I can't be with a man who would leave our daughter, who is only two years old, at home, alone all day without telling anybody. What do you mean, getting a divorce? What are you talking about all of a sudden? Where did this come from? You want to get a divorce over this? It was hardly anything. Why are you being like this? What was so wrong about what I did? Don't you think you're being a little extreme? Can't we talk it out before you jump straight to divorce? I'll never do that again. Why are you so sure that we need to get divorced over this? It's not the end of the world. It was just one little mistake. Over this? You say that as though it's some minor little thing. Have you not realized the severity of what you did? Could you just calm down for a second? Nothing happened. She was fine. All I did was leave Joy home alone for a few hours, right? It was just a few hours alone and she was fine. I can't believe you could even think such a thing. Just a few hours, as in multiple hours. What's wrong with you? Your mother heard her crying. That's the whole reason I even know. She was crying and you weren't there for her. When I was away for the long weekend or the trial run, your mother came by to help you, didn't she? You might have thought you could get away with his stupidity without it getting back to me, but you were wrong. Isn't that right? No. My mom just happened to be free, so I just told her she could come over and play with Joy if she wanted to. Did you forget that I'm on your mother's phone right now? She's sitting right beside me, you know. Your mother already showed me the message you sent her. I can't do this alone. Please come help me. I'm sorry for lying to you. I didn't mean to keep lying to you. It's just one lie led into another, and before I knew it, there was just a mountain of lies. I didn't know how to fix it. But honestly, nothing happened this time. And I've definitely learned my lesson. So I'm begging you, please, for the love of God, reconsider this idea of getting divorced. I don't want to be without you and Joy. You're so valuable to me. The both of you are. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. Joy is still so small, so she won't remember what happened today at all. We can move past this. So just because she won't remember it, you think what you did can be forgiven? She has a good memory. She won't forget what you've done to her. You abandoned her. I think those memories will never leave her. You've hurt our daughter permanently. You could very well have given her abandonment issues. So of course I can't be with somebody like you, Set. Somebody who thinks of these things in that way. Joy needs her father, Rose. You can't cut me out of her life. It's just going to hurt her all the more. You might not be able to forgive me, but you have to know what I'm saying is true. I want you to forgive me for Joy's sake. We should at least give it a try for her sake. From now on, I'll help take care of her. 
I'll help raise her. I'll make sure to be a good father from now on, so please. You seem to be mistaken about everything. The reason I'm getting a divorce is for Joy's sake. I'm not going to allow your negligence and laziness to infect our daughter. No child needs a selfish father. Who would think they could just leave their child alone, especially when they're still a baby? Saying that you'll help me raise our child was a mistake. That's all the more reason to divorce you. Joy is our child. You always should have been trying to raise her alongside me, but you didn't. So I will continue to raise her alone. Do you really think I wasn't helping raise her? Do you really think you can raise her all on your own? I was raising her all on my own, and I'll continue to raise her all on my own. No matter what happens, I will be able to raise Joy on my own. I have known this since the day she was born. You can't. You won't be able to handle it. There's no way that you could work while raising a child all on your own. Yeah, maybe if I was you, but I am an adult. Not some petulant child in a man's body. It sure will be tough raising her on my own. I'll need the support of those around me. And I'll have to use some child-rearing services. But I'll raise her and work, because she's my daughter and she deserves a good life. How am I supposed to live without you and Joy? It's going to be difficult suddenly being all alone. How could you possibly complain about being alone now after leaving your two-year-old daughter alone for hours? It'll be a good lesson. You can feel the sadness of being left all alone. After that, I told my parents about what my husband had done. Me, my parents, and my soon-to-be ex-in-laws got together and discussed everything. With everything all discussed, we got divorced. My ex-husband wailed until the very end that my daughter would need him, but his mother and father knocked some sense into him. In the end, he shut up. He was such a lazy bum he didn't want to work, raise his child, or clean up around the house. I've heard that men take longer than women do to get used to becoming a parent, but I think you'd have to be a real piece of work to be as selfish as my ex-husband was. Additionally, I was worried about whether my ex-husband genuinely only left my daughter alone that one time, so I checked with his boss. It sounds like it wasn't the first time he's left Joy on her own. He made an arrangement to work from home, but there have been times where he had to leave to go to an in-person meeting. Of course, his boss had no idea about him leaving our daughter home alone. His boss fired him, stating that he didn't want any responsibility for my ex leaving our daughter alone. He took the money from selling the house we lived in together, and some money that his parents made working, and gave it to me as one lump sum childcare payment. I had gotten everything my ex-husband had to give me, so I had no need to meet him any longer. Joy can't quite talk yet, but I think she was really happy not to have to see him. I moved and started a new life with Joy. I was lucky that there was a daycare right next to where I started working, so that makes life easier. Additionally, my ex-in-laws are helping out with her, so that's been a real lifesaver. I divorced my husband, but for Joy and I, his parents are a blessing. They're truly kind grandparents. Joy was forced to suffer such a painful experience, so I want to make her lots of happy memories from now on. She'll be raised by the kindness of others, learning the goodness of people, and she'll become a wonderful woman. I want to give her all the love I can give her as a mother, 